Ramirez, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Well, we had a lot of cloud cover today here in the Concho Valley, of course, preventing us to get as hot to, to get hot as what we were anticipating. But looking at those weather headlines, continuing to see just some gradual clearing right now. Of course, it's causing those temperatures to jump up into the hundreds as we go into the uh, closer towards the uh, around the five o'clock hour. Actually, past the six o'clock hour, temps remaining very hot. Isolated storms are possible going into the next couple of hours or so. Those high temperatures remaining in the hundreds for the rest of this week. Very hot Fourth of July is expected. Those overnight lows dropping down into the 70s. We are dealing with elevated moisture levels. So, of course, those temperatures are going to feel a little bit hotter than what that actual temp is. Looking at the time lapse, definitely a lot of cloud cover. Temperatures remaining in the 80s before the noon hour. And, of course, you'll see as we clear out, those temperatures actually jumped up into the hundreds as we got to, or just past the 6 p.m. hour there, as we are now dealing with a lot of sunshine. Uh, but we are tracking a few storms that are off to our southwest, but still dealing with hot conditions. Currently at 101 degrees, winds out of the south at 9 miles an hour. Here's the current temperatures across the area, 105 in Sterling City, 99 in El Dorado, 90 in Brady, 97 in Menard. As we go and look at those feels like temperatures, when we factor in that humidity and those dew points, feels a little bit hotter. It feels like 110 right now in Sterling City, 101 in El Dorado, 102 in Wall. So uh, dealing with those uh, elevated dew points, seeing those dew points in the 60s across the area, we're going to continue to see this, these muggy conditions for the next several days or so. Uh, so unfortunately, that sticky feeling is not really going to go away for the next several uh, days or so as we head into the weekend. Looking at the regional radar, dealing with a severe thunderstorm from morning in effect just north of uh, Sterling County, but we are tracking these storms off toward the southwest of us. We are expecting to see these storms actually make its way into the Concha Valley as we head closer to around the 8 o'clock hour. So we could see an isolated strong storm or two heading uh, for the next couple of hours along with that cloud cover, but mostly quiet right now, not really seeing anything. We are dealing with a storm that's actually making its way into Crockett County, but uh, still seeing those relatively calm conditions. But as we get closer towards around the 8 o'clock hour, expecting to see an isolated storm as we head into uh, just after the 8 o'clock hour. And then as we get closer towards the midnight hour, we're going to see those storm chances start diminishing. A very quiet night expected, clearing out as we head into tomorrow morning. A little bit of cloud cover expected for tomorrow morning, but then tomorrow afternoon, another round of isolated storms are possible. These could pack a punch. Main threats include large hail, damaging winds, and dangerous lightning with these storms as we go into the next couple of days or so. But uh, as we head into looking at the regional, or actually the, the na nationwide radar, dealing with that dry line situated. That's what's kind of those storms are flaring along that dry line. We do have this high pressure system that's currently situated off towards Florida. That's going to be building ac across towards Texas as we go into the next several days. That's going to keep us fairly warm. Those temperatures in the hundreds and then a few isolated storms are possible, but then mostly sunny conditions are expected for the end of the week as we head into the weekend. Expecting a very fairly hot in 4th of July as we head into the start of next week. Monday and Tuesday, we are expecting another weather system to move through the south central U.S. that could cause a little bit of a isolated storms or two as we head into the start of next week. Also, with some cooler temperatures, we're going to be in the hundreds for the rest of this week, but then the start of next week, we could be in the upper 90s to mid 90s. Tonight, getting down to 78 degrees, isolated storms. Winds out of the south at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Like I said, those storm chances will be diminishing after the midnight hour. Tomorrow, fairly hot, topping out at 101, partly cloudy cloudy skies during the day, and then another round of isolated storms are possible. Like I said, we could see a, a, an isolated st or a severe storm or two as we head into Wednesday. Those winds rel rel relatively calmer as we were dealing with today. For the next seven days, expect hot temperatures remaining for the rest of this week. Those overnight lows in the mid-70s, expecting a very quiet end of the week. However, it's going to remain fairly hot. Highs topping out at 102 for Friday, 102 for the 4th of July, and then mostly sunny skies are expected for Sunday. And then, like I said, we're going to have that weather system moving through for the start of next week that could bring us some storms with temperatures just a little bit cooler, those overnight lows in the low 70s. We'll be right back.